Motivation. Sometimes it's hard to even get out of bed, let alone find motivation to do so. We all need a good kick in the butt every now and then, even if it is just to get outside for 10 minutes and go for a walk. Or play fetch with your dog or watch your cat climb a tree. I love waking in the morning knowing I have a fun craft project that I get to do. Motivation your day keeps you going throughout. When you believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. Even if you don't believe in the moment, believe in yourself. Quote of the day. Nothing can bring you peace but yourself. Ralph Waldo Emerson. So today we're going to be working in our uh, log cabin, our fabric stitch journal that we made together. So I'll make sure to put it on the end screen so you guys can check it out. There's a whole series for it. And what I want to do today for Valentine's is make a jean heart and do some fun patching on it. Just with our, this is just some Valentine's. Uh, fabrics, but any kind of fabrics you have that you want to do any patchwork, just grab it and we'll do this. Okay, so what I have here is I just did a scrap piece of paper and cut a heart out. And whatever you're going to be sewing your heart into, just make sure that your heart's going to fit. So that's the only thing that I did. And I just did it freehand, I just cut it but you can do it however you want. So what I'm gonna do is just put it on, and this is just a pair of denim jeans. Okay. I'm gonna take it and pin it down. Oh, need the fabric scissors. pin here there we go. and if you want you could just take your fabric pins if you have one this works too and it doesn't matter even if it's just a regular pin because this is going to go on the inside so this might be an easier way is to just mark around it Okay, so I went ahead and just traced around it and cut it out. So we got our heart here. And the colors I'm gonna use today are just like a red and a pink, just whatever you got. And a chenille needle. So we got our fun scraps here. And we're just gonna take them and patch them all the way around. What I like to do is fray it here. Love it. The shaggy look of it. And what I'm going to do is I want the jean to show through too. So I'm kind of just going to do some fun little patchwork throughout. I mean, just whatever you want to do. And you can make all of it frayed. You can do it all cut perfect. I mean, however you will. It's, this is, you know, this is yours. So it is your journey. However you want to do it. So what I'm doing is just taking... I just have it on two, I have two strands of the, just embroidery the floss. And I'm just sewing it down, just however I feel. I mean, that's what I believe with uh, slow stitch is just, it's really for your enjoyment 
and relaxation and you know you could sit and talk with friends like I'm doing right now or you can watch your favorite show or movie or podcast or anything like that and just relax I mean that's the whole point of slow stitching is to just take your time you don't need to rush and just have your blood pressure go down and your uh, just your heart rate and just everything just sit there and don't stress about any of your day that you have to do and just you know have a little time just to sit and do some stitching and if, if you guys just try it I mean it really is relaxing and it really does benefit you for sure so that's all I'm gonna do is sit and just you know I got my little fabrics over here that I've cut little pieces out of and I don't have to use those exact sizes or even those exact pieces you know just that's just the whole journey of it all is to go through your fabrics and see what you got go through your threads uh, your needles and get everything situated and see what um, you want to make your heart out of you know and just cut out just a little paper template and trace it down on there just pin it on and trace it and just cut it out or you could just if you're feeling uh, brave just cut it straight out of the fabric you know you just take a piece of fabric and fold it in half and just cut a heart shape so however you want to do it I mean so you guys can see I'm not doing perfect stitches I think that gives it just a fun you know whimsical feel to it which is just so much fun so we got that one and, and just look around I think the lips are hilarious aren't those fun so it's like why not it's perfect for Valentine's so you can even take it and go like this with it use up the rest of your thread That's what I'm going to do is just sit and just stitch all the way around. I like kind of like the patchwork stitch like that. We can do them different sizes. You can do different colors. I mean, just however you want to do it. So I'm just going to continue and just keep laying patches out and keep sewing. The smallest things like having a cup of coffee, some toast with your favorite jam on it, little things like that help motivate your day and keep you going throughout. When you believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. Nothing can bring you down if you feel confident in your heart. Always focus on the positives because it will change your whole perspective on life. So that was super fun. I'll show you what we have here. I think it turned out really cool. So just whatever fabrics you have or anything, it doesn't have to be Valentine's. I was just doing that because today. And um, yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do a jean heart with some Valentine fabric. So now I'm glad you guys stayed to this part because this is gonna be cool. What I wanna do 
is I just took a piece of cotton fabric here that has cool little spots and stuff on it. And um, I measured it to the size of the journal, the page that we're gonna stitch it into. So I wanted to make sure it was roughly, you know, I just ripped it to size. And what I want to do is splatter some fun paint. So we got gold here, just acrylic. They're all just acrylic. Um, bright magenta, pinwheel blue, and purple, purple iris. Then I also have some watered down gesso. And there's no measurements or nothing. It's just however watered down that you would like your gesso. And you can see that's pretty watered down. Okay. And what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and just stitch this on here. Then it's already in place. We can splatter our fun little paint all over and then just let it dry and then I'll sew it down into the stitch journal. But uh, I wanted to say to you guys, doesn't this remind you of the 80s? <laughs> I mean, this is just like perfect 80s here. If you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That helps my video get out there further. And I really, really would appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at it going, that really does remind me of the 80s. And what better than to do some paint splatters, you know? Okay. So what I got is my silicone mat underneath, but let's go ahead and do some sewing. I'm just gonna do a quick stitch all the way around it. I'll just do, I think, just a running stitch all the way around. And I'll use two threads. Seems to be pretty good. sewn around and now let's go ahead and just start with some gesso here. I'm just going to do some splats. Okay, uh, let's do a little pink. need much. There we go. So I'm just taking my finger and just tapping it on there. This is the fun part, you get to get messy. You just see what happens. Yeah, that's good. I like the purple. All right. Just taking it and giving it some water. Need a little sparkle in our lives. Do some blobs here. I think that looks really cool, you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments, <laughs> like some of the outfits and stuff you wore in the 80s. Like, uh, I remember growing up wearing uh, like jean jackets. I had a cool jean jacket that had patches all over it and um, that my mom would sew on and stuff. And it was, oh my gosh, so much fun. So yeah, I would love to hear like some of the things that you guys wore. And uh, 
the, I mean, it's coming back too, like the jean overalls and stuff. I actually just ordered another pair of overalls. I haven't had overalls since I was like a little girl. Uh, I might have done it maybe in middle school or so. And I had a, you know, like a, just the overall things. And I actually ordered some the other day off Amazon because I think that'd be great to have for my craft room to come in here and have some overalls I could put on. And uh, it doesn't matter if it gets messy or anything like that, but I think that's the point. I think it'd be kind of fun. But it is funny how the 80s are coming back or did come back. Uh, I don't know if it's fading out. I'm not like with the, I'm not hip or anything. <laughs> not with the times and stuff. But uh, I know at one point the 80s were back again. And uh, I always loved the vibrant colors and the fun uh, stuff. But it was kind of funny, some of the clothes and all that. But yeah, I'd love to hear in the comments, like what's some of the outfits that you guys had and some things that you wore, some something that was like 80s, you know. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now I want some splats here. There. Get some good splats going. Okay. I should settle down here. But is that fun? <laughs> eh. So after you're all done and doing it, I mean, the splats are optional. You don't have to do that part. But, uh, when you guys are done, why not? Just see what you could come up with. And then what I'm going to do is move all this to the side. I'm going to move this over and let it dry. Might even take my heat gun to it. And then I will come back and we'll sew it into our journal. Okay, so I got it dry and I'm going to... I did a little bit of brush strokes along it. I think that turned out really cool. I just took my fan brush and just went and did some wispies. So that turned out really neat. So what I'm going to do is just take my, just some thread here and just kind of tack it down on here. Because then it won't interfere when we do something fun on the other side here. So... That's all I'm going to do is just take my thread and needle and just do a quick tack down. stitches, little stitches, however you want. I think it all looks great. So we're just going to tack it to the page here. so it's all sewn in I think it turned out really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it like comment and share and let's go together and keep on crafting